Um, yeah. So I want you guys to understand what a plus and minus here means. Do you guys know what that means? Unless you're stupid, then you don't. Uh, right. So uh, let's insult the ones who listen to this video. So one five five two one eight five one eighty two hundred one forty one fifty one fifty. 180. 95. I say 95? Okay, now, and uh, 125. 120, 130. <clears throat> 90. 120. Nice. 110, 130. Perfect. Now, we have eight individuals, um, and the those numbers will go on the y-axis. So now we're going to say on the y-axis that we have average, you must label it, of course, average blood glucose level along with the unit, which is mg per deciliter. Now, let's look at the x-axis. We will have eight individuals, so I'm going to say... Um, IV1, IV2, IV3, IV4. Wait, MG what? Milligram per deciliter. And IV6. Actually, you know what? That's going to take Wait, too much what space. What is IV? Oh, my, 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 my. IV means four. So, individual in the fourth generation. So, I oh. okay. Yeah, I think so. Because here we got, yeah, fourth generation, right? This is for this question, by the way. Anyways, so look, let's just uh, put the data, at least for now. So we have 170, okay, and 170. And we can now extend it to the x-axis. And now... And now we can do plus and minus. So one time 155. Yeah. And one time 185. Right? So we're doing a bar graph. Yeah. We're doing bar graph? You can also use a dot with two lines up and bottom. I don't think it matters. It shouldn't matter. Wait, I have a question. Do we start like from like, you know, like, do we do this? Because look, they... What? How do we do it? Like. Yeah, so look, I'm starting with this. Right now I did the first one. Oh, we're doing okay, 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 okay. Right now, I took uh, the first one. That was IV one. I'm gonna label it as IV one. Now I'm gonna do IV two at one ninety. One ninety, and we're gonna extend it all the way down. From 180 to 200. So from 180 to 200. We'll call that IV2. Now I'm going to do, I have to care of the second row. IV3 at 145. So that will be right here. And it's going to be from 140 to 150. Yeah, that's going to be IV3. So between 140 and... Yeah, exactly. Now IV4 at 165. Which will be from 150 to 180. That's a big range. Do we just like do the like 190, 160, 45, 165, 110? Like we don't do the other, like, why are we solving these if we're not going to put it on the chart? No, we did. That's the error bars. Oh. Like 150 to 180, that's the length of the error bar, right? Yeah, that's, uh, that's not my point. I'm saying, why are we like minusing them? Oh, because that, like here, for example, this is 150 all the way to 180. 150. All the way to 180. So the error bar is the left and the right. Now IV5 is going to be at 110. Huh? 
How many IV levels do we have again? Eight. I'm going to be extending from 95 to 125. It's going to be IV5. And now we're going to, okay. Now the sixth row, IV6, 125. See, 125. So that's going to be right here. It's going to extend from 120 to 130. Okay. Take care of the sixth row. Now IV7 at 105. which will be extending from 90 to 120. We also have IV8 at 120. That will be extending from 110 to 130 it's going to be IV8 now on the x axis you could say you know individual because we did have the individuals okay yeah now of course you can also you know individual and generation four if you want now if you don't like to use um bar graphs you could also use a dot like here like a dot and erase your bar graph a dot and erase your bar graph if you want so a dot raise the bar a dot erase the bar and you guys get the idea. So if you don't like bars, you can also do that, which I think is a less messy, you know, and maybe requires less work, but it's up to you. So the graph could also look like this, but make sure to not connect them. Like some people want to say, okay, let's just connect them. That's not going to happen because it's not one person's different people. Okay. Can go back. Yeah. So bar graph or this, and this is how you do, uh, a bar graph or a graph with dots with error bars that are not connected by one line. You see, the question says, construct a graph. Sometimes they say, make it a bar graph. Sometimes they say, make it line graph. But if they say, make a graph, you have to use your judgment. Oh, sorry, 